Mish has for us nice six here with another review this time of Star Wars Vintage Series Darth Vader. So here you go. So this is of course of the uh, newest wave that's been released. It does have the completely uh, new uh, deco uh, card which is actually pretty nice. It's, it's a good change. And uh, yeah. So there you go. So as you can see the card here you do have a small picture from the uh, movie or scene that he was in. Then you've got uh, just a little thing that represents him and of course it's the Death Star. You've got his little bubble on here. It's just Star Wars very very vintage itch, uh, just really cool, liking it. On the back, it's pretty neat. You got the rest in the assortment. I did pick up that red clone, and uh, pretty nice. And um, and then on the back here, you can see the figure with the little bio. So yeah. So this figure is the one that comes with the electricity and everything, which uh, looks fantastic, but I'm not going to go over that right now. First, I'm just going to go over the actual figure itself. So um, as you can see, the big difference is uh, the head. As you can see, it is a clear head, which is actually really cool. And uh, something that you really don't notice until you are just looking at it is that Inside his helmet, you can see his skeleton. It's actually like a, a light blue head that they painted and added some uh, some dark blue and a little bit of red highlights in it. It looks very strange. It's very hard to see, but uh, if you get it in person, you can definitely check it out. It's actually really cool. It's, it adds a really cool effect. As far as the body, nothing's changed. I mean, um, as far as uh, from the scene, from the scene right here, there's, the body's the same. As far as, you know... Everything's good. You can uh, change his arm out, which I'll show in the, at the end here. But um, as you can see, it's really cool. You do have some uh, some fabric here as well as some fabric at the bottom of his uh, uh, just of his waist, and then he does have his cape, of course, that hangs down. Looks really cool. He does have just just a grand cape. It really looks nice, and I'm really liking that. Um, as far as the legs and everything, hard plastic, and uh, overall, just really cool. So this hand can be removed, and uh, because he does get his hand cut off in the Return of the Jedi, so you can remove it and have him look like that. Um, but overall, for, as far as articulation, just swivel head because of the head sculpt. Ball hinge shoulders, hinge swivel elbows, swivel at the glove, uh, swivel waist, swivel hips, hinge swivel knees, and hinge swivel ankles. Overall, I would have liked uh, something other than a swivel hip, but, uh, but that's completely fine because... Um, Swivel hip is the only thing that vintage the vintage line does. I haven't seen anything but that. So, so other than with Darth Maul. So overall, I'm pretty okay with that. So, uh, so uh, this is absolutely an incredible sculpt. It is just Darth Vader. It's probably the best Darth Vader that I've ever seen. Definitely that I've ever owned. I definitely uh, really love this uh, sculpt. The only thing is because of his clear mask, it's very hard to display him as just a regular Darth Vader on your shelf. You're gonna have to display him with the electricity and everything if you want him to. Go good with the head. So other than that, but that's fine. Typically, a lot of people have a Darth Vader already, so it doesn't matter. He comes with a red lightsaber, of course, very nice, and it does stick in his hand. What I like about it in his hand is, other than he holds it really well, his uh, his wrist is at a little bit bit of an angle, so it kind of points this way instead of just going straight up and down. It gives a little bit of point, which is really cool, more like uh, what you see in the uh, movie, and just more like what people would do if they actually were holding lightsabers so that's really nice you can do a lot of really cool poses with this and uh, just really cool I do really love it so uh, let's hold on a second and let's get the electricity on here is Darth Vader with the electric going through his body as well as the hand cut off. So absolutely, really just so cool. I'm uh, really impressed in the way this looks. This is actually the exact way that I put him on the shelf. The same pose, same everything. So uh, just so you can see, this is how I display him. Um, I actually, I display him like this with the Emperor just like right above him. That's exactly how he is on my shelf. And I have to say, it is an incredible sculpt. Um, of course, I've talked about Darth Vader, but I'm just talking about the electric electricity looks just really cool of course you can stand him up and everything and he just looks awesome just look at that. The blue electricity is really cool, and it is kind of, it's a little old-fashioned looking, looking almost like the way it was in the movie. I mean, it is beautifully done. As far as the, uh, how it fits onto his body, it fits extremely well, with, uh, still allowing him to be extremely poseable, which is really cool, and as well as I've said that I love this extra little piece here, because, uh, it can go on his hand and everything, and, uh, it gives it, gives it more space, you know, not just all in one area, and because it's not connected, it doesn't look like a little accessory that's been put on him. It actually looks le pretty legit, you know, it looks really cool. So, have to say, I love this. I think that he looks so cool right now, and this is where he really looks good with that uh, that clear head. Uh, head. And, uh, yeah.
So here he is holding the Emperor. As you can see, this is really cool. This is one thing that I really liked. Um, you know, I, I definitely didn't think that he'd be able to hold him. And uh, I tried it a couple days ago, and it worked right automatically. So I didn't know if I was just lucky or what happened. So I just tried it again, and it worked perfect. And as you can see, he looks cool. This is a great way to display him on your shelf. Um, this figure, I think, is pretty perfect as far uh, if you are um, one of the people that you know creates sets and stuff with like cardboard and uh, recreates you know the uh, the movie scenes and stuff this is an absolute must have because this is not a character figure this is a scene figure this is just one particular very short scene from the last Star Wars that uh, that this is figure is supposed to be taking um, from and it looks great it really does and uh, you know it'd be so cool if you built a little diorama and uh, put this guy here and then Luke, you know, it would look fantastic. So, uh, this is one incredible set. Um, one of my favorite vintage figures of all times and, uh, I really just loved it. I think they, they just hit it out of the park. It was great. So, I'm um, absolutely recommend this guy. I have only seen him in, uh, Toys R Us's, so that's where I, uh, recommend you guys go look. But, um, Definitely check out your other places too, but uh, overall definitely worth it. Even if you have to pay slightly more on eBay, I definitely think it's worth it. I think it's so cool that they made this, this figure just from this one scene, and they made it perfectly. They did everything right. So, very happy with it, and uh, that's my review of the Star Wars uh, vintage Darth Vader from the Return of the Jedi. Thanks for watching.